हेलो हाय एवरीवन आई एम संजय गुप्ता एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक ऑन स्किल होराइजन यूट्यूब चैनल एंड लाइक लास्ट वीक आई वाज नॉट एबल टू डू दिस सेशन दैट वी स्टार्टेड टू मंथ्स बैक सेल्स फोर्स हैंड्स ऑन चैलेंज सीरीज सो एटीन सेशन आई ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डू चैलेंज नंबर नाइनटीन सो आई हैव अ न्यू प्रॉब्लम दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू and uh, before i showcase that challenge and we do a discussion if you uh, or anybody in your circle wants to upskill themselves in uh, like sales force so that they can become job ready so uh, just ask them to visit the website uh, we have these uh, these three steps learning approach where we focus on the conceptual learning hands on exercises and project so like every month we are starting Uh, a group of uh, 10 to 15 or 20 folks who are learning salesforce and uh, we are doing that online and offline in both the ways so offline we providing we are providing job uh, like placement assistance as well and uh, like we started that for online as well from this month right in offline we we kind of placed uh, lots of candidates i am sharing those information on linkedin so if you follow me on linkedin you will be able to track those information okay and soon from november we will be starting job readiness training program for uh, service now as well okay so that will also be for both online and offline and these are the qr codes you can follow you can visit the website and you can uh, join our whatsapp community as well there okay so do follow for latest updates so moving forward so this is the challenge that i'm going to discuss with you today okay so today's challenge is basically focused on the email thing so i hope you might have used flow and through flow we can send an email but i am not sure whether you are aware of uh, of this like we can send emails to uh, triggers as well if you are creating some record and on that record if you have email field populated so with the help of that uh, email uh, field we will be able to send an email so suppose we are creating a contact on contact we have email field and uh, with the help of that email field uh, in the trigger we will be able to send an email to that contact okay so i i will be explaining you the code like how it can be implemented and uh, you can you can implement that in your org and you can test it out right so i'm going to show you the solution for that so basically initially what you will be doing you will be implementing a trigger okay so as per the challenge we will be creating the contact and on contact creation email should be triggered right so i am creating a trigger uh, trigger name is contact trigger it will be on contact object and here event i am using after insert right so after insert uh event will be executed and uh, here we are having this uh, class contact trigger handler and from that class we are going to call this method send email to contact now this trigger is implemented to handle bulk records so if you create one record then also that will be managed and if you create bulk record then also that will be managed so single record will be passed through this trigger dot new this trigger dot new is basically this new is a list trigger is a context variable and uh, no trigger is not a context variable this this whole trigger dot new is a context variable and this new is basically a list which will be storing newly created record information so if we have one record that will be stored here if we have bulk records then also uh, those information will be stored here right so basically basically if we Uh, talk about this so it will be storing all the new records so this this type of trigger implementation is known as bulkify trigger right now all the contact information will be passed to this method now let's see how we can process it so this is the solution for this problem so i have created a class contact trigger handler in this class i have this method send email to contact which is receiving contact list so whatever data will be passing from trigger dot new that will be stored into this contact list right now after storing data into this contact list i have created another list list of messaging dot email 
okay now here we have messaging and email both are starting with uh, upper case letter so generally best practice says whenever we are creating any class so class name should start with a upper case letter so here messaging dot email so both should not be a class so what is this messaging and what is this email so basically messaging is a namespace okay messaging is a namespace namespace means uh, namespace is basically a collection of classes so this email is a class if i show you i have a document with me i am going to share this link in the chat so that you can go through with this so messaging is a namespace okay this is a official salesforce document and this is a apex reference guide where it is available publicly so this is a messaging namespace and here we have these many classes so here you will see we have email class as well this is available here okay so if you have any class in the namespace so you will be implementing it like this messaging dot email okay email list is name of the list that we are creating now whatever contact list we have created so we are applying a loop here okay uh, so one by one each contact will be available into this con variable now i am checking whether this con dot email is having some value or not okay because if contact is containing an email then only we need to uh, proceed further so if con dot email is not equals to null then only we will go inside this if condition right now here one more instance is created so again this messaging is a namespace and single email message is a class name so if you if i take you here so messaging in a namespace and single email message is the class okay here it is last one okay that we are going to use so this email message this single email message instance will be storing one email message okay all the information about the email so what we are going to do before we store anything into this email message we are preparing the email information so we need to address like to whom we need to send the email so for that i am creating this string array con dot email i am adding into this string so basically two address should be a collection where multiple emails can be available then email subject is just a string where we are writing welcome and then con dot first name we are concatenating it then display name like who is sending the email so that will be sanjay gupta you can write any name here and the content so content is another another string where we are having this uh, content in string format so we are writing hi and then con dot first name then this this content will go to the ui on to the browser so these are html tags br for line break that we are using here so when this content will be rendered on the ui on the browser so this br will be working as a html content and it will change the line so this is how i have created two address email subject display name and content now i need to store that all these information i need i need to store into this email message so email message is a instance of this single email message so inside single email message class this this single email message is a class inside this class we have these methods set to address set subject set sender display name and set html body so all these variables that we have created we need to pass here okay into this email message now this email message i am setting into this email list email list we created above okay so one by one for each contact email message will be created and that email message will be added to this email list and once this contact loop is completed then what we are doing uh, we are calling the send email method so now you might be confusing like whether this messaging is namespace or class can you suggest me at line number 29 like this messaging is a class or namespace let me see who can answer this i'm just waiting for your response i just need to know like above also at line number 11 i'm using messaging i i told you like this is a namespace so at line number 29 i want to know whether it is a namespace or a class just respond in the chat okay j is saying sagar sorry j sagar is saying class 
waiting for other responses j can you can you tell me the reason why do you think it is a class not a namespace your answer is correct it is a class but how you identified it like how we can identify whether it is a namespace or it is a class can anyone tell me those who are attending this session live like how we can identify this uh, line number 29 messaging is a class so i'm waiting for 1 minute then i will be explaining and this is very important if you have any code that you are searching from chat gpt or google and you are using that into your Uh, actual code so you need to know how to identify these yes we can call methods by class name right so actually this send email is a method and how we can identify method because in in apex programming we have a naming convention if you have any method so that will start with a small letter and if we have another word that will start with a capital it is a camel case and in above line number 11 the single email message is a class because start, it is starting with the upper case so this is how you can identify whether we are using a class or we are using a method if you are using a method then this messaging is a class so now conclusion is messaging is a namespace as well as messaging is a class okay so if i show you this is this i already showed you messaging is a namespace where we have lots of classes available okay and if you see here we have another document which is having messaging class as well and in this class we have this send email method so i'm sharing this link in the chat so that you can go through so we have both messaging as a namespace and messaging as a class so whenever you find any code why i am showing you this particular code because here we are using namespace we are using predefined classes those are available in the namespace we are using predefined classes like messaging and we are calling that method so whenever you find any code like this so what you can do you can search apex reference guide and you will be able to identify whether it is a, it is a namespace what all classes are available there uh, whether it is class or what all methods are available there so from salesforce official documentations uh, you will be able to verify you will find their syntax like what all parameter we need to pass the definition you will be able to see if you click you will be able to see the example like how we can use it so all these details you will be able to find here that will be useful to you so i would say let me reduce the size so you you can implement this complete code okay and do test it out whenever you will be creating any contact just populate the email address and then that particular email address will be receiving an email so you can do both type of testing you can test single record or you can test bulk record okay so this is a challenge for you i already explained you now the remaining part is you need to implement this particular code and you need to test it out right okay nishanthni you are saying so with the method calling we can differentiate if it is a class yes so like after dot whenever you have any terminology like uh, using dot so after dot you need to identify whether we are using class or we are using method so if you see all the method always start with a lower case this set to address set subject set sender display name set html body add send email all these are methods and how i can identify because they are starting with a small letter and this single email message then this email all these are classes because they are starting with the upper case okay so that is why naming convention is very important for custom implementation also we need to follow this so you can see my class name is starting with upper case and my method name is starting with the lower case right so in apex programming or in any other programming language naming convention plays very important role okay so i completed 50% of the challenge i explained you the requirement i showed you the code like how it can be implemented now uh, 50% part you need to complete just implement this complete code and test it out okay i will be having another session next week 
if you face any challenge you can join live session and do let me know so i will explain you all your doubts okay in next hands on challenge number 20 i will be picking any other requirement okay so maybe i will be explaining you uh, that uh, custom setting in one of the session and custom metadata type in another another session okay i am planning to uh, explain those as well so that you can implement okay so this is all about uh, today's session so uh, just implement and test it out and uh, if you want to become job ready for salesforce or service now or anybody in your circle or in your company if you are already working in some company so do refer skill horizon to them and uh, they will surely love we are providing uh, job assistance as well now placement assistance so for offline we already placed uh, more than 40 folks and from our online courses people are learning and they are applying for the interviews uh, online those who are learning they are mostly working professionals so they don't share their information when they get a job opportunity so uh, that's why we are not able to share uh, those job opportunities on the social media platform but from online courses also like those who are learning they are able to appear into interviews and uh, many folks are able to clear those job interviews as well right so this is it for today and uh, like i am already available on linkedin if you have any type of question anything that you want to discuss regarding to your career you can ping me on linkedin i will be happy to reply to your queries okay guys thank you for joining today's session live and uh, we'll be having a few more sessions next week bye everyone